This is Richard Dick Coffin, 66. How are you? I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not feeling too good. I've been feeling a little bit down, a little bit maudlin in the last few days. It's uh, nothing to worry about, but I've been very bereft of things to make videos about. I've sort of been sat here just punching myself in the face, trying to work out what I should do, and then I get sent something, like I normally do. Like I do every day. It's from a. Uh, it's a video that sometimes you don't know how to react with, with, with words or in any. It's almost. I don't want to dignify what I'm about to play you. It's called "Raise the Dead." This is not satire. This is not someone being ironic this is real right let's just play this it's, it, it. I want to talk to you just for a few moments today about raising the dead it's a reality that's happening all over the world today mm. well bugger me an increasing uh, momentum and numbers. Well, well, I mean, obviously the numbers would be increasing. You can't sort of get a, a stagnant, stale plateau, statistically, on a line graph of people being raised from the dead. Raised from the dead all over uh, the United States and the third world countries all around the world. Is the United States and third world countries all over the world. Because third world countries, they need... That's the one thing they're lacking, isn't it? Very exciting day to be living in. It's a very exciting day to be dying in, apparently. Do you know that Jesus actually commanded us to raise the dead? Isn't that know. something? I did not know that. He said we could. He commanded us in the context of sending out the disciples of whom we are to raise the dead. Listen to this scripture. It's an amazing scripture. This is what he says in Matthew chapter 10, uh, verse um, 8. He says, well, let me start at verse 7. He says, as you go, preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It goes on to say this, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out demons, freely you have received, freely give. You know, the evidence and the presence and the operation of the kingdom of God is this. It's these very things. The sick are healed, uh, the, uh, the leopards are cleansed. The Did he just say the leopards are cleansed? The dead are raised, and the demons are cast out. Now, it's amazing that God commanded us to do this. It, it, is, it is, it is, considering it is fucking impossible. Westernized Christians, I believe, have made raising the dead much too difficult. Um, oh, God, yeah, they do. They, they just, they're almost, they're almost too cynical about it, aren't they? They just want to go out there, they, they, they can't just get on with it. Here's a dead body. Fucking get on with it. No. It's it's like this unapproachable place where you have to have this ultimate super level of hyper faith. And if you don't have it, don't even try. Yeah, I know. Hyper faith. Hyper faith. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's that's really believing in something with it. I mean, you have to. There has to be negative evidence. Can I just tell you that's really not true? Okay, please do. Please do. It takes faith. That is true. Well, oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. I am... Um, I kind of took that as red. You know, raising the dead. Take, it would, I mean, I'd like some video footage would be nice. But don't talk yourself out of it. No, no. Keep on. Don't, don't stop there. Don't sit there and believe this is futile. Let me give you a story about how God used me to raise two people from the dead. Could you, could, do you have like some sort of, you know, records of, did you maybe have, you know, uh, I don't know, Gandhi sat next to you, possibly. Maybe, you know, maybe Genghis Khan has popped in. Possibly Abraham Lincoln. Or my nan, anyone, you know. Maybe that will help you have some courage. Yeah, that, well, I mean, no, you know. Do the very same thing. I was in Uganda, Africa. Oh, fucking classic place, yeah. yeah. 
doing some crusades, preaching and teaching. Them. Doing some what? Crusades. Okay. Yeah, which I love to do. One afternoon I was in a uh, large meeting, a large mud building. Pack. A large mud building. Like a lot of lava over there. Mud and shit, yeah. Hot, sweaty. And I was about to... Uh, how unusual that, in it, for Africa? <laughs> Two-thirds of the way through my message, when they came in and interrupted me, and they asked and me... And everyone went, fuck it, thank God for that. Uh, ...to come and pray for this woman. And uh, I'm trying to tell the man through the interpreter, I'm just about finished with my message. If you couldn't have told me to get a fucking doctor. Right. Just let me finish. In a few more minutes, I'll come. Well, they were insistent. They, they wouldn't let me stop. Uh, or continued the message, they made me stop and go with them. Oh, what a bunch of cunts! Fucking wankers! Here you are, just wanting to babble on some endless, meaningless bollocks to a load of people, and these fuckers want you to stop to come and st set up someone who's dying. Fuck them! And so I consented, and I went with them, and, and uh, I'm walking with them about ten minutes away from the place where we... Uh, we're meeting, and we began to walk out. Didn't feel like getting a taxi or jogging. Very tall and high grass in Africa. I don't know if you've seen that or not, but uh, no, no. And some of the pictures you might have watched in Africa. Anyway, here I am with two guys. I don't know them, and uh, I'm walking out in this tall grass in Africa, and I'm thinking to myself, <laughs> you could anyway, lose a kidney. You know, to do something with me? Am I coming back? Are you... they going to bum me? Is that what you're thinking? You thought they were going to bum you? You thought, just because they were black, they were going to bum you? You think all black people are gay, aren't you? You know, ten minutes, and I was getting a little bit nervous, quite honestly. And honestly, can I just tell you, I was a little bit uh, perturbed in the sense that I had to stop the meeting to follow these guys way out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, when I was just getting to the point, you know, of my message where it was just going to be really... Oh, God, the, the, you were just about... <laughs> it, you know, that's what we think, don't we? At any rate, so I'm out here uh, with these guys, and all of a sudden we come upon this African woman laying uh, face down in the dirt, out of this tall grass, uh, dead. I mean, very dead. Very dead. How the fuck can you be very dead? You're either dead or you're not. You, you know, you know... This, this guy is so dead. He's fucking extremely dead. You, you're either dead or you're fucking not, okay? Uh, well, Rick and Mortis had said it. I don't know how many hours that takes, but she was stiff. If you move, you know, one part of her body... She might not have been. She might have been, you know, having a kip and she had polio. All of her body moved, and so uh, I knew she had been dead for a while. Oh. You, thank you, thank you very much, Pro. Now, I looked at her, and I looked at the guys, and, and this is what I'm thinking. And you just have to go with me here. I'm thinking... This bitch is dead, is what you're thinking. Couldn't this have waited till I Yeah, I mean, come on, guys. The bitch is dead. The fucking cunt is dead. Finish my message. This woman's dead. I mean, fuck you. Yeah, you're smiling. He's smiling when he says this. You, you heartless piece of shit. Where is she going? Are yeah. you with me? Oh, no, guys, I come on. In a hyper faith, super, you know, faith mode here. I was preaching a meeting. Mm. I was disrupted. I was brought to find a woman who was dead, who certainly seemed to me could have waited until I was done preaching. Are you there? That's that's kind of my emotional, uh, uh, you know, place where I was right then. So I looked at this woman, and I was mad at the devil that he made, made her dead to interrupt my meeting. Yes, what? you bastard. God, you know. Couldn't have waited ten fucking minutes. A little upset with these guys, and uh, I just looked at that woman and I said... Does anyone else feel that your this guy's priorities are a tad skew whiff? I command you in the name of Jesus to come to life now, and... Guess what? You know what? She did. <gasps> <laughs> I think the fact that she was dead might have been a bit shocking to her. Fuck whether she's a white man or not. The bitch had been dead. I mean... She jumped up and began to run as fast as she could away from us. 
these two African guys that were with me, they chased her down and tackled her. Can you believe that? I said, take it easy, guys. She was just dead. Yeah, you know yeah, that? no. She's in a very rough state of affairs right now. It hurt her. Well, long story short, they bring her back to the compound where we were preaching, and they put her in the pastor's room there, and they give her some water, have her lay down, you know, kind of, you know, be refreshed a little bit. This, this didn't shock you in the slightest. You weren't a little bit like, fuck me, I can't believe that bloody worked. Well, she got to looking around, and she found some money from the offering in the pastor's house. So she stole it. What a fucking... That's why she was dead. Right. Jumped out the window and took off. So, so Jesus brought this bitch back to life just so she could rob from the church. Anyone else? Do you feel like bringing the fucking Jack the Ripper? Do you feel like bringing these people back? You know, anyone else you feel like, you know, serial killers, mass, Albert Fish, you could bring him back for us if you want. Dr. Shipman. These guys that were watching her saw her take off so they ran after and tackled her again. Knocked her down in the dirt. Could you imagine that just being raised with yeah, Well, considering it happened again, yes. I hope this, I hope this bitch wasn't a rugby player. Now people are treating her this way. It's an amazing thing. It, it is an amazing thing. And I, 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 I feel so enlightened. Anyway, long story short, they shared the gospel with her. She uh, gave her heart to the Lord, returned the money, and she's a living Christian today. Isn't, isn't that something? Isn't that something? Isn't that the darndest thing by G. Willikers? Oh, shucks. Golly gosh, fucking Jim Bob. You know, I wasn't a hypered out faith kind of guy at that point. Yes, I have strong faith. Yes, I have authority. But it was more as an as you go type thing. You should go to Haiti. You should go to Haiti, mate. Apparently, they've got a few people there you could do with fucking helping raise from the dead. You fucking charlatan cunt. Just in the moment, I didn't think about it. I wasn't uh, afraid it wasn't going to happen. I just said, you know what, this is going to happen. Woman, you need to get up because I've got things to do. It was a matter of... Woman, get up. I've got... This video's nearly over. I just... You, you, you... I don't know what, 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 I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I just can't... I can't begin to fathom that this is the century I live in, that I'm living in this world where people like this can sit there in a shirt with a pair of trousers and talk such unmitigated, rambling sputum, just 